Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm going to be redoing the video, the effects of the moon on your mind and body and emotions, right? Because the other video was a little distorted, I understand, and I was just trying to ease by with it, but it, it was a little loud. <clears throat> well, now I'm out here in nature. We can talk about the moon, and you can hear every word that I'm going to say and how it relates to your body, your mind, and your emotions. All right, well, the moon is a fem feminine energy. Uh, it's really to do when it's coming to, uh, let's say, astrology. A lot of people utilize the moon when it comes to dreams and for wishful thinking to the non-active part of life. To the more energetic part of life that's the feminine energy you know and uh, symbolism is also used the same way like if you had a tarot card that had a moon on it it's talking about the unconscious mind opposed to the conscious mind which would be the logical or the sun or the active so starting there i just want to say that you know a couple of weeks ago there was a full moon. I'm not sure if it was red or not, but it was a really significant moon. I'm not really into rituals and things like that. But those of you that are, I'm sure you know exactly what kind of moon it was. Well, I can say that the energy from that moon was very, very strong. And it was around for a couple of days. Maybe, let me say, around four days or something like that. Because it really affected me. It really did. Um, I'm pretty good with my emotional state. I can control myself and I can keep my things bottled up if necessary, depending on the situation. Sometimes you have to, <clears throat> but I couldn't that week. It was not going to happen at all. And I was always, I was asking myself like, really like what's going on today? <laughs> like, why are you so fussy? Like, why? I felt like I was on my myriad, you know? <laughs> like, my man period. <laughs> there was nothing I could do about it. Well, the science behind that is that the gravitational pull of the moon has a significant effect on the body and the mind. Like, farmers know this. Uh, of course, if you're really into surfing or the ocean by any means, You'll know this too because the, the high ties with the moon because it's the gravitational pull on the water and also it has the same effect when you're growing crops and things like that. I don't know the, the exact how to do it like you do it before, after, whatever, but there's a gravitational pull. Even though it may be a slight one, you have to recognize just like an ocean, the body is a body of water. It contains water. And in symbology, and not just that, but in reality, um, water is related to the emotions. Like if you see that on a tarot card, or if you see that in some secret society, you see water. Usually it's a symbolism of emotion or the unconscious, the feminine. So, <clears throat> when the moon comes in, it's affecting the state of water that's in you being it's gonna affect your emotions because the the water ties directly into your emotions because as you know uh emotions is just energy and motion so every time you have a thought or emotion it shoots through all that water or blood inside your body and it affects all your cells and that leads into a whole different conversation but you get what i'm saying <laughs> So yeah, the, the, the moon is very, very strong. People don't realize how strong sometimes, but it really can affect you if you're not in the know of what's possible. If you know anything about crystals by chance, a quartz crystal is an amplifier. You usually find quartz crystals in, in things like this device right here, a phone because you can put a current through it and it'll amplify that current. The same thing with the human body. That's why a lot of people use crystals. <laughs> Excuse me.
So the moon acts just like a quartz, maybe even stronger than that. I'm not sure. But whatever you are, whoever you are, whatever state that you're usually in, it just amplifies it. And that week I was in a pissy mood because a lot of things were going on. So it amplified that to another degree and I couldn't handle it. <laughs> so you guys got to be aware of that. So like if you ever heard of a lunatic, it's from the lunar, the lunar, the, the moon. And that's why there's so much emphasis on the lunar cycle and uh, um, astrology. And the moon plays so much significance when it comes to, I guess, magic or any kind of practices that have to deal with rituals and uh, other things of that nature. So, like I was saying before, if you're around a very sensitive person, just watch out because when the moon comes, it's going to be crazy. If you're around a violent person, that's going to amplify and so on and so forth. So be aware of that when you're stepping into a different situation so you can know how to maintain yourself, right? <laughs> Okay, now here's a couple of positives that I got for you guys when it comes to the moon. Um, I really haven't talked about this much in years, really, and I'll get back to it because uh, you guys need to know about this. If you're ever doing like any alchemy, like what I mean by alchemy is uh, if you're using like water or you're making elixirs, like crystals, uh, crystal elixirs, if you guys want to know about that, just leave a comment down at the bottom and I can make a video on that. It's pretty easy. It's very, very easy. The science behind it is really, really easy. I could break it down for you, but it works. Like if you're trying to change some part of you or add some additional features to your personality or take away, um, crystal elixirs are extremely good because they get down all the way to the cell because just like I was just saying about the water, the emotion, and the cell correlation between them all with the thought and pulses your body of water, right? So, um, I always forget the scientist's name, the Japanese guy that did the, the experiment with the water, and he, uh, he recognized that the water can hold your thought patterns. So you do the same thing with a crystal. You put a crystal in water and that crystal is going to do what it does. It vibrates. So the water is going to hold on to that vibration and that water is going to contain that same energy. So if it's a quartz crystal, it's going to be more amplifying and clearing and things of that nature well the only reason i'm bringing that up is because you can set that in the moon and the moon will also put its energy upon that elixir you can set it in the sun and you also get that energy upon the elixir and they both do different things but i'm not going to get into that here if you want to know more about that, ask for a video and I will give you a video. But I always appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet already, please subscribe. Look at that beautiful scenery back there. It's a beautiful day. Oh, yeah, it is. And I'm blessed to be out in the outside working. But, yeah, definitely subscribe. Like. Whatever you need to do, <laughs> but be aware of the effects of the moon on your mind and your body. I will see you on the next one, Thompson TV.